What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. All right, guys, I got a quick video for you. I remember in the beginning of this uh, generation, when the council war stuff was really kicking off, one of the, the narratives from the other side was uh, Xbox has no games, right? And then when you asked them to actually explain what that meant, because I remember for me, I was confused. I was like, there's games on Xbox. Like, what are they talking about? Then it really narrowed down to Xbox has no first party games, Xbox has no AAA first party games, Xbox has no big budget AAA first party games on the platform. That's what it really that's what they really meant when they said Xbox has no games, no games that are first party exclusive to the console and a AAA budget, whatever that means, right? And it's funny because now we're we're 2 years in to this console generation and I would argue that indie developers and small studios have been carrying the generation. I would argue that indie developers and small studios have been giving us some of the best gaming experiences for the past two years. Now, obviously, you have your... Your, your 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 proven studios, right? I'm not gonna take anything away from Santa Monica. I'm not gonna take anything away from from Naughty Dog. I'm not gonna take anything away from uh, from Gorilla, whether you like Horizon Zero Dawn or not, or Forbidden West or not, right? Um, Playground Games with Forza Horizon Five is an amazing game, right? I know a lot of you don't like Three Four Three and Halo Infinite, but I thought Halo Infinite was good. At least the campaign, I really enjoyed it. Okay, I enjoyed the multiplayer as well, but I know some of you didn't. But in terms of these games that have hooked us and, and caught us, all, uh, caught us uh, off guard and all that other stuff, these indie developers and these smaller studios have been putting in work, man. A Plague Tale Requiem, Plague Tale Innocence, um, Stray uh, did really good, right? What other games can I think of? High on Life was pretty good as well, right? So... The whole AAA big budget thing, Tunic did really well as well. The whole AAA big budget game has to be exclusive. It's not really, it's not really a thing. It's not really a thing. It's like I would argue that these indie developers and these small studios seem to be a little bit more hungry. When you look at all the big budget games, all the games that were supposed to come out rocking and doing their 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 thing, as we would say. A lot of them were disappointed, came out with bugs, came out bro broken, came out with um, 30 frames per second mode and not a 60 frames per second mode. Like just these games that we were expecting to be amazing didn't actually hit the mark. So it's very interesting to see all this come back full circle where people wanted to say Xbox has no games because there's no first party exclusive AAA games or whatever. Yet there's other stuff to play on the Xbox platform that is arguably better than most of the first party, first exclusive games that are out there right now, right? So with that being said, it doesn't give Microsoft an excuse for when they start dropping these first party, big banger, triple A exclusive games. These games still have to be good. But I'll be honest with you, I have more faith in these indie developers and in these smaller studios that seem to be really hungry than these big AAA studios right now. That might just be me. Let me know what you think. Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.